Christoph Reisch trifft auf den jüngsten Weltmeister in der Geschichte. 2006 gewann er die BDO-WM im Alter von 21 Jahren und 90 Tagen. Seit der Weltmeisterschaft 2016, seit seiner Halbfinalteilnahme, steht er unter den Top 10 der PDC als aktuelle Nummer 10 der Welt. Herzlich willkommen, The Cobra, Jelle Klassen! Caller dieses dritten Achtelfinals ist der Mann, der auch das Finale beim World Grand Prix gecallt hat. Es ist der Kirkulator Kirk Bevins. Well, as we welcome the Countdown Octo Champ Kirk Bevins to the stage for the first time today, we are moving into the third game of the afternoon session of the Happy Bet German Darts Championship. One quarter final is set up on the final day of Euro Tour action of 2016. That will see the number three seed Dave Chisnell taking on the unseeded Mark Webster, whose mission to qualify for the European Championship is still very much alive. Hello to Jamie Caven if you're watching. Sat at home, sweating in that last qualifying spot. If Webster makes the final, Caven loses his place. If Dave Pallet makes the final, Caven loses his place. If Dave Pallet and Mark Webster make the final, Jamie Caven loses his place. And James Richardson also loses his place in one of the big tournaments of the year, the end of this month, in Hasselt in Belgium, the European Championship. But there is the small matter of the German Darts Championship title to be decided today. Jelle Klaassen considers himself to be one of the most unfortunate players Second on the Euro gentlemen. Tour this year. First leg, it's Chris there to throw first. Game on. Jelle has repeatedly run into Michael van Gerwen on the final day of action in the European Tour this year. He has repeatedly been knocked out by typically the best player of the tournament, either the winner or somebody who's just played better than everybody else and unfortunately eight. lost. I think Kyle Anderson in Austria. But he's taken on Christo Reyes here, the Spaniard, who's looking to make the final session of a Euro Tour for the very first time. He's made a last 16 once before. Can he go a step further? Dan Dawson in the commentary box, Paul Nicholson alongside me. Another one of those guys that turned up against Klassen was Johnny Clayton. Yes, yes. What a performance that was. And Yella came backstage and said to me, why do they always turn up against me? And my reply was, it must be your cologne. <laughs> 120. Well, why do they always play like that against me is something we hear a number of players say. But I have to have quite a bit of sympathy with Yellow Klaus on the European Tour because even when he's gone and averaged 107 over three games, he's still not being enough because Michael Van Gogh averaged 115 against him and knocked him out. just seems whatever he is doing. It's like the rule of Hybrex from the Premier League where Hybrex, whatever he averaged, it would be one less than his opponent and he would somehow lose a tight game. I take it as a compliment because people see you as a threat, they see you as a danger, and they lift their game. It's just the way it works with some people. You know, people used to, you know, lift their game against Phil. I mean, 95. Remember Alex Ferguson saying about Leeds United always raising their game against them. Well, people would love it if they would be Ella class in these days because he is on top form this season. And he's seen as a scalp. People want to take scalps. On the first maximum, can Reyes respond with a 170? He might do. Bullseye. For the biggest yeah. one of the lot, Christo Reyes fires in the 170 to take the very first leg. What a start from the Spaniard. And what a reply from Klassen. Well, I did call it. I did say on Friday that we would see a 170. I did say it would happen on Friday night, though. I think you said it was last night. Well, it happened today. I'll take it. You were late. <laughs> you were three games late. Christo, Crystal Riz will take it. I'm um, no doubt about that. What a finish. 180 from Klassen. 170 out from Reyes. 180 from Klassen to start the next leg. 
world-class stuff here in Hildesheim. One hundred and thirty four. Clusson's been around a long time now. Ten years ago, he won the twenty one. Ten years ago, you know, a lot of darts thrown since then. He came backstage after his victory last night against Roby John Rodriguez. I was asking myself and Rob Malarkey about 81. his uh, statistics. He said, I played terribly. And he was very happy with his 91 average when we told him that's what he got. 59. Yeah, did miss a lot of doubles in that game. A, a lot towards the back end of the game. He could have closed it out a little bit earlier. Ended up winning it 6-4. As for Christo, when he saw Benito van der Pass with very little trouble. Benito had a few 100. bounce outs and Can a couple of unlucky 96. deflections. But he still got done 6-2. I mean, Christo was just the better player. As class in double 19, double 19. He tried that a couple of times 68. in his last game. Worked once. 190. Yeah, you mentioned Crystal's game against Benito. Well, he was in a real thriller with Mark Walsh on mm. Friday. What a game that was. Walsh, he could have won that match. And sometimes when you're involved in a game like that to start your weekend, you just go deep because you've been involved in that and nothing is going to make you as nervous as that for the rest of the week. Well, it, it could well be. He did have a match dart, but Cristo came from 3-0 and 5-3 down in that one. Great dart. Rescuing this visit. But cannot find the double. Class yeah, look at double score teams to level the match up at one apiece. Double seven now. Game there shot it is. The second leg. Yeah, the class. Third leg is Chris there to throw first. Game on. A lot of people don't really know why Yellow's called the Cobra. Are you Wait, going to answer that question? Very, very simple. Look at him when he addresses the board. 140. After this 140. Look at his right arm. Looks like a cobra. Bounce. Waiting to strike. 140. We're discussing Yeller's approach. He's, he sort of rebuilt his throw. He, he even said people called him crazy for doing so. He felt that it's he needed to do it. He won at his first PDC title 100. in the first year of moving over and then just didn't win anything for years. And he did have patches of success and playing well. But he felt that to become the player he is now, as he fires in a third 180 in just three legs, he felt he needed to change how he throws the dart. And if you go back and look at him at the lakeside, it is a, a very different throw. It's a, it's a lot more standard throw, if you like, back 100. then. Yeah, previously it was very much higher, up towards his eyebrow. 65. Nowadays, it's very more, much more compact and circular. It looks quite jerky in a way, but he does make it work. The 161 is not going for Christo Reyes. And Carson will look at the 116, and he does like 47. the double 18. Yeah, so I would have thought. Well, no, he is looking at the 19s. No, he is going trouble 20. That's the problem if you go low. Yeah, there we go. Back to the center of the board and double 18. 18. Well, he's missed it. Christo, you acquire 114. We've got some options here. Treble 20 is the obvious route, but nowadays a lot of guys are going down for 19s for this, you know. I'll take your 19s and I'll shove them. Tops it is. 94. The yellow require 36. Well, it is yellow's favourite. Game yeah. shot on the third leg. You can't yeah, afford to give him three clear darts at double 18 in yellow class. It is 2-1, the first break of throw in this one. The advice I would give people at home is if you're going to give yourself a favourite double, get a second one as well. <laughs> because if you want to make double 18 your favourite, you might want to get pretty good at nines as well. Yeah. If you want to get good at tops, get good at tens. Sixteens, get good at eights. Because sometimes a well-thrown dart 44. might just land inside. Yeah, you're going to need them. I'll tell you what I was looking at at the start of this match as well. 81. You look at our players through the course of a weekend, like Friday or Sunday, and almost everybody here just uses the same kit all the way through. 99. And I'm not just talking about the engineering side of it, the same barrels, stems, things like that, but same colours. Yellow always uses these purple flights. 100. Crystal Reyes has changed his colour 
on his flights every day. That's very unusual. I mean, with Peter Wright, it's well, you know, pretty normal, but changes he changes everything. But it's very unusual to see a player changing his stems and flight colours because in your eyes, you like the way that the darts sit in the board. Some people like them to be black, so you can't see them white because they want to see them. But it's obviously something that Chris Doe is not bothered about. He just wants to put in a brand new set, not bothered whether they're yellow, green, pink, or brown. And today, they've got his name on. Oh, I like those. I think they're good. I mean, they're, they're certainly, I mean, 85. light years ahead yeah, of the quite frankly criminal combination of flights that Stefan Stoika was using this weekend. As Klaas, and look at this double 13. Game Wonderful stuff. Wonderful yeah, from Jelle Klaassen. Reyes hit him with a 170 in the very first leg, and Klaassen has bossed it since then. Well, 146 is a pretty popular checkout at the minute. It's been hot this autumn. Simon Whitlock said it a couple of times 97. in really key matches. I think he hit it that way against Michael Van Gogh when he eliminated him in Dublin. Well, after that first start, there was no doubt, was there? It had to be another treble 20. Double 13 is not anybody's favourite double. The mirrored mentor. But. 108! That's a second 180 for Christo Reyes. This is a proper contest. Well, Christo, despite the fact he survived the match dart from Mark Walsh in his opening round game on Friday, he still averaged more than 96. He played pretty well. He had to play well to come back from 3 0 and 5 3 down. Walsh, she made him work very hard. For him. Didn't quite hit those heights against Benito, but he did what was necessary. You know, Christo is a serious dart player. Look at this. Look at this. Four maximum for Yella Clarsen. 124 for Reyes. 104 remain in treble 18. Would have left that bullseye that he hit in the first leg. Clarsen's nice. already hit the 146. 142 one seems easy, right? 260s for double 11. 102. Christo Yerkwa, 32. Well, he's asked the question of his Spanish opponent. You might not want to blink, guys, because this has been played at a pretty good pace. Big dart. 24. You've got to think that Klassen's going to Yerkwa, punish him now. 40. He's going to think it's Christmas. Two tens. Game Two tens he gets. Yerkwa. And it is Christmas. 4-1 Klassen, Crystal Reyes Torres, now 4-1 down, on. has got to find some perfection because Klassen's here to play today. Yeah, you can't keep giving him opportunities, the average now for Yella Klassen has crept up above 102, 134. and it is going up. Oh well, okay, 101, my no, there we go, see, I was right, don't question me. Wouldn't do such a thing. <laughs> Winner of this one faces 59. the winner of our next game between Joe Cullen and Peter Wright. And what a match that could be. But there could still be some life in this. Christo Reyes is still averaging high 90s. If he'd taken 86. that opportunity, it'd be 3-2. It'd be a very different game. But this is this is not completely gone. The frustrating thing for Christo is that he took out that 170 in the very first leg. And then he's just missed a whole what? succession of doubles since then. I'd go so far to say that Klassen's more comfortable playing a game like this where the standard is higher 100. as opposed to being involved in a bit of a low 80 scrap mm. you know you're both averaging about 81 82 you're missing a few doubles he'd rather be in a game with someone like van gerwen van der Voort, 100. reyes where the standard is high high 90s 100 averages and the affordability to miss is just not there well we know he can sustain this sort of level of performance it's not like it's just a flash in the pan and you're expecting Yella to ease off at any point in your opinion is Klassen the best player not to win a European tour title yet I, oh, that's a very very difficult one to answer as Klassen needed the trouble there doesn't get it 44 Four 17s with a left double 18 One four two not going, and he may be about to go five one down here. For another nail in Christo's coffin, double top for Yella Clarsen, and there it is. It is five one. 
I think certainly this year he has probably played better, more consistently than anybody else who hasn't won one. Uh, except Dave Chisnell would have a fair claim that he's made a couple of finals. 140. But of course, Chizzy has won on the European Tour before now. But he, he hasn't even made it a Euro Tour final before Yellow Carson. 134. When Mensor went on to win his first one, those two met, and it, it looked with the withdrawals of Daryl Gurney and Michael Van Gerwen through injury in that half of the draw. 100. You looked at that game and thought whoever comes through that has an enormous opportunity in the end Mensor edged it in a deciding leg and then went on to take full advantage and if it had just gone the other way we might have been talking about Yella Klaassen as the man who you know that victory spurred on to go and do amazing things won a couple of titles last year of course after that years of not winning anything at all 140. you just get the feeling that if he could win something big on a stage then maybe it'd just ignite him and he'd go Bonkers, don't go there again. 139. Yeah. Well, you're right, though. For the guys out there who didn't see the Klassen Zulevich game, get on YouTube, get it watched, because Klassen didn't do anything wrong. Mm. It was just the brilliance of Zulevich, and it could be the brilliance of Reyes right now. It is again! Well, he cannot hit a double, but he can hit the bullseye pretty well, Christo Reyes. 1-2-1 one, one check out on the ball to go with the 170 in the very first leg, but this is still Klassen's game to lose. Christo Reyes is averaging 100.2. Well, 100.9. Well, 101 or 102. Look, I mean, this is this is a good display for Christo Reyes, but as the famed Euro Tour anthem 180 says, treble is funny, double make the money. <laughs> 125. Oh, as I saw eloquently put it a couple of European tour events ago. 180s for door, doubles for door. Yeah. 98. Between us, we'll, we'll get the saying right at some point. <laughs> Just not anytime soon. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be a seed in the World Championships or indeed the European Championships, which Reyes 81. is definitely going to be at. And he's going to be at the other end of the draw because Reyes is one serious customer. Uh, he really is. They meant the second round of the European Championship. Last time now. Oh, he's gone into the trouble 15. He wanted the trouble 10. Christo is looking at another massive checkout. It is massive to stay alive. Christo Reyes, that's not going to happen. Yellow Clawson returns to the board for a 6 2 win. This has 21. been very, very impressive. Christo Reyes has played excellently, but it has not been that's enough because Yellow Clawson has taken him apart. The Cobra is through to the quarterfinals. He will face either the number two seed, Peter Snake by right, or Joe Cullen. Reyes walks off with 103.1 average, more than his opponent, and he only won two legs, one of which was with a 170 checkout. A quite frankly astonishing game that proves that averages do not tell the whole story in this weird game of darts. Wright versus Cullen coming up to complete the quarterfinal lineup in the first half of the draw. Applaus für das Sparta und Christo Reyes, der auch hier in Hildesheim wirklich gezeigt hat, dass er konstant gut mit dabei ist. Ja, yeah, congratulations. Even though it was just the third match between you guys, it was your first win against him. He's, he's not easy to play. I don't know, he's a good player. Uh, I was a little bit lucky that he missed the three darts in double 16 and double 8, but uh, he had two great finishes, 170 and 121, so uh, no, I'm happy with the win. When, is, when will Jelle Klaassen win the first European Tour event? We are waiting for that. Yeah, I'm ready for it too. I hope so, I hope so today. <laughs> okay, let's see. Thank you very much. Jelle Klaassen!